right, Charles, and welcome to your first day lessons. So, today with your spelling, you are going to be doing your rainbow right, your maybe your bubble writing, I know, and coming back to it again. So remember, not too big, not too small. After you've practiced your spellings, remember it's your last day, so you're getting tested tomorrow, so really try your best to learn them. Our span is to revise the contraction apostrophe and the possession of one for singular possession. Okay, so we have revisited, we're revisiting what we've learned from this week already. So hopefully it won't be too tricky for you, okay? Then we are going to go back into our talk for writing. Again, we are now moving into the build-up. So it's innovation week, okay, so we're just sticking to the story and changing parts. Again, Miss Bailey and I have done a video, so make sure you are looking at that to help you. I've had some great work. I haven't had much. I really wanted to feed back some of your ideas, but I haven't had enough selection. So hopefully we'll have a double whammy tomorrow. Please send in your work. I know it's fab. So after math um, writing, you'll have your break. Time saver box stars. It's really good to see. I think we are winning in the competition. Don't tell Kestrel your owls. We are then going to carry on dividing two digits by one digit if you are year five. If you're year six, you're going to carry on converting fractions to decimals. I have loved seeing you challenge yourself. It's great. You're really trying your best. You're really trying to reason. You're spotting your mistakes. I love it when you're marking it and going, oh, I know, I noticed this. I've had some emails saying, oh, when I checked through, I noticed this. And it's really great to hear that feedback from you, that you're not just doing the sheets, that you're thinking, oh, how can I make myself better? So if you're just sending the math sheets in that aren't marked and you aren't checking through, really do it. It will help you move yourself on, okay? Your talk for reading, Michael says today, question four, um, not question four, day four section, okay? So read through the text again, like we do in class. Really get to know the text. Again, if you are finding some of the words tricky, get a dictionary, use a thesaurus, ask a parent, or send me an email. I'm always at the email to help you, okay? So if you've got questions, please do ask. We're here to help you. In the afternoon, you have got art, and you're designing a mind calendar. Oh, that sounds really fun. And then you've got music, so you're gonna continue working through Charanga. You've got your logins. Just let us know how you're getting on. It's nice to see. So pick your activity that you're doing. Uh, class read, Mrs. Jarman's reading to you today. So again, the story's getting really juicy. I really am getting hooked in. Hope you are too. Make sure you're reading for pleasure. Lots of people are quizzing. Still a few that haven't yet, but I do know that some of you are reading longer books. So I can't wait to see your word count pop up, okay? I am keeping an eye on who is where and who's, what, who's reading different. So I'm looking at the different reports, okay? So again, remember, send through your work at the end of each day, okay? I am really enjoying reading it and I am giving back lots of feedback. So send your work, have fun, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.